Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another holster. Today we're taking a look at a holster from Vetter Holsters. Now Vetter Holsters was nice enough to send this out to the channel for me to give a try out and everything to give you guys my opinion on it. What this holster is, it is called their Light Tuck Kydex Inside the Waistband Holster. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a little unboxing to show you what all it comes with. And then I'm going to do a weight comparison, do a couple other holsters that I have. Because it doesn't say it's lightweight, so I want to see how much lighter it is. And then we'll go over some uh, features of it, and then I'll tell you my final, final opinion on it. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Okay, so we're going to open this up here. And we're going to take a look and see what's inside of it. So I'm going to turn it this way to make it easier to grab. First thing I'm going to do is pull out the holster. Now, as you can tell, and you all know I like my American flag stuff, so they sent me this with the American flag. And then that's what the other side looks like. Like I said, here in a little bit, I'll go over more of the details on it. Let's set that over here. What else comes in this bag? Got a little cool looking brochure there. And then on the back, it tells you all the different things about the holster. I'll hold this here for a second in case you guys want to read it. Then what else do we got in the bag here? And I do think that's a very nice bag that they send all this in. Now we also have the claw to add this onto there. And what that does is it helps push the uh, butt of your gun up against your uh, body more to make it more concealable. And that looks like that's everything that's in the bag. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it to a couple other uh, Glock 19 holsters that I have, because this one is for a Glock 19. So I wanna check it out. Okay, so what I have here is, is a couple other uh, Glock 19 uh, holsters I got from other companies. We got the Vetter one here. We got the Olden holsters here. And then we got the Humble holsters here. Now both of these are like a uh, ambidextrous one. This one is just for left-handed, but I wanna see if this one, even though it looks bigger and everything, I want to see if it's lighter than the rest of these. So let's go ahead and get the scale out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, humble holster. So we'll put that on there. And that weighs 2.5 ounces. So we'll go ahead and take that off. And then we're going to grab the Olden Works holster here. The Olden Works is 2.7 ounces. So now let's put the Vetter holster on. Now the Vetter holster is 3.5 ounces. Now the reason why I think this one is a little bit heavier is because there is more Kydex on it and everything than on the other two, but I just want to give you an idea. It is very lightweight. Um, I just don't have another uh, holster here to compare it to that's exactly like it. So let's go ahead and we're going to go over to the other studio and we're going to check out some of the features on it. Okay, now I want to go over some of the features of the Vetter holster. One thing I do want to tell you that is it fell out of the package, but it does come with a sticker too. When I did the unboxing, I thought I saw it in there and I didn't. Then I found it on the floor where I got it out at. So you do get a cool sticker with it too. So now let's go ahead and go over some of the features that I like about the lightweight tuck holster. Of course, I like the American flag on it. Another thing that I like about it, this has a metal clip. This clip is metal where a lot of people use plastic and it has a lot of retention on it. If you look right here, you have your adjustment screws and you can move it for can't. I got it loosened up for you to check that. Now it does come with a claw. Um, the reason why I don't have the claw on here is because is the first part of the week I wore it with the claw 
And then the second part of the week, I took the claw off because I wanted to see what the difference was on that. And the claw does make a huge difference, but there's a couple things I want to tell you about the claw too here in a second after I show you something. Now, like all the other holsters, this has a nice smooth edges on it and everything. Now I'm going to move this to the side and you can see there's three holes here and then there's two holes here. So you can move that up and down and uh, adjust your right height and everything on it. Now that's where I ran into a problem with the claw. I had, uh, when it came, it was on the bottom adjustments and it, the claw was on and my belt lined up perfect. What that claw is for is your belt to go against and to tuck it in closer against your body so the butt of your gun ain't sticking out to be more concealable. The only issue I had with this uh, is when I adjusted the right height, then the claw didn't line up right. Now, I could have tweaked it a little bit more than everything, but when I was messing around with that, I was actually getting ready to take the claw off anyways because I wanted to see how it uh, felt without the claw. Now, wearing this without the claw, it is uh, very comfortable to wear. When you put the claw on, you can definitely feel the gun tucking up against you more to make it more concealable, but it didn't aggravate my skin or anything at all, so that's a good thing. So now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and we're going to grab my uh, Glock 19, which this is for, and I want to check fitment on it. Okay, now we're going to check for fitment on it. Basically, we're going to do like I normally do. We're going to put the gun in there and we're going to listen for the snap. Because if you get a loud snap, that means it's going to fit in pretty good and have good retention on it. And you hear that? That was nice and loud. Let's try it one more time. That's perfect. Now one thing I want to point out, you're not going to be able to see it real good in there, but one thing I did change on my Glock 19 is I do have the uh, XS um, F8 sights on here now. And they are taller than the uh, stock Glock sights and it fits in this with absolutely no problem with those new sights on it. Snaps right on there. Another thing I like about this clip is, I'll pull it away from the holster so you can see, there's a gap right there. So this is also tuckable, so you can tuck your shirt in with this holster too. Now the one thing I want to show you is, because I watched Firearms 101's video, where he did a better holster, and he had a problem with the holster right in this area not contouring to the gun right. Fortunately, I've got this one the first time around and I didn't have an issue with it like uh, Firearms 101 did with it. So, what's my overall impressions of the Vetter holster? The lightweight tuck, Kydex. Once again, this is an awesome uh, holster. I do like it when you have the uh, claw on there. But the thing with the claw is, unless I got to play around with it more, you got to have it on the low setting for it to hit your belt just right. But overall, I highly recommend this holster. And the other thing that's cool about Vetter, and I know most, most companies are starting to go to this, is you can get different uh, graphics and designs on it. I just happened to see that they had the one for the flag, so I just had to get the one for the flag. These holsters are made in the USA, and they do have a lifetime warranty on them, and they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it. Well, that's all I got for today. I'll leave a link down below for you to go check out Vetter Holsters. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. All right, you're still watching. That means you watched all of my video. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate it. So now I want you to do me another favor. Go ahead and check the links out down below, because in the links down below, I got my Instagram, and on my Instagram, I post a lot of pictures that you don't see on here, sometimes of upcoming projects, now also, I've got my uh, Facebook page linked down there, Jesse B's Outdoor page. And on that link, you'll see all the same great stuff that you see on Instagram. But also, a lot of times, I'll put some deals on there for you to check out. So go ahead and check my Facebook page out for that. And another cool thing is I got links down there for these kind of shirts. So if you like cool 2nd A and Patriot shirts, go ahead and check out those links and that will send you right to them. Well, that's all I got for today, and I'll see you all on the next one.